Hey guys, Shannon here. Cheers. Now we can officially get started. Tonight, we are going to make Mediterranean lamb shank with couscous. With the instant pot. I know I said lamb. Slow down. Don't get intimidated. There's really nothing you can put in front of me that I'm not going to eat. I am not sponsored nor paid by Instant Pot to do these videos. I just love it and this is part of my daily life. But if you're interested in buying one, click on the link below, take you right there. Here's what's great about the Instant Pot. In a Dutch oven, it's going to take four to five hours. With this, it's gonna take an hour depending on how much time or how much you're serving. So to start off with, you have to figure out how many people you're cooking for. I'm single, so right now I'm gonna cook for me, myself, and I. So whatever this recipe is, just multiply it by how many people you have. Get your lamb shank set. I order mine on Whole Foods. Pat it dry. The reason I love lamb shanks, legit, so affordable. So while we're prepping the lamb, we need to get the Instant Pot ready. Get it to saute for 10 minutes to get it hot. We're going to sear the lamb. That's when you know it's going. Get some salt and pepper. And cover the lamb to get flavor going. And here's a little secret I'm going to tell you. These recipes are never exact. I know people who don't like onions and tomatoes, so then figure out a substitute. This is ready to go. You're adding olive oil. Just make sure it coats it, but too much, you're just gonna have this oily liquid. And that's another thing I love about Instant Pot. They got these cute little gloves. The Instant Pot is hot and ready to go, and we have the lamb shake seasoned. All we're gonna do is just brown it on each side. You're not cooking the lamb shank right now, you're just getting a little crust. You hear that? Sizzling. Such a great sound, right? Like, Now our lamb shank is just browned a little bit and that way the flavor of the lamb has been put into the pot. So now we're gonna add our onions and our garlic in the same pot. So exciting, right? If you weren't using an Instant Pot, you would have multiple pans, pots and pans, everything all over the place. And then you take a sip of wine while you're waiting. So I don't like silence. You wanna saute the onions until they get soft. So you throw in the garlic, so now we are going to what they call deglaze the pot. And it might sound so professional. Really all it is is putting some kind of liquid to get all the flavors out. We are going to use chicken stock. I just turned on the saute again, so it has some heat. Time to add all the fun spices because this is what gives the flavor and what people will be 
so unbelievably impressed with. I'm gonna start with one tablespoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and last half a teaspoon of coriander. This is going to give so much flavor that people are going to be like, what the F? So now this is done. Cheers on that. The next step, it's so a final step, add the meat to the sauce. Our lamb, we're gonna add the tomatoes and the carrots. And so here's what's fun about the Instant Pot. You ready? So you close it up, cancel the saute, pressure cook on high, this recipe for 28 minutes. While this is doing its work, you walk away from it. I'm gonna make some couscous because I love couscous. It's a great addition to any type of Mediterranean meal. And it's also freaking easy to do. Just follow the directions on the box. That means we're done. <laughs> oh. See, you thought lamb was intimidating? Look how beautiful that is. Look at that shape. Look at that. You want some fancy garnish? Get some fresh cilantro, put it on there. But other than that, hey, uh, are you hungry? Oh yeah, I've been filming this all night. All right, go to town, man. This is why I love cooking. I want to see people enjoy it. So here, you know what? Kill it, man. Oh my God, that is good. I'll film the show just to hit the meal.